Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a try on haul. So I know I usually do a haul and then I do another video testing the makeup that I hauled, but I kind of wanted to do this one like in a two for one because I really am excited about these products and I want to try them on camera and let you know what my first impressions are. So, so I told you guys in another video that I got Sephora gift cards for Christmas. So this is the stuff that I got with my gift cards. I do have one thing that's not from Sephora, but I wanted to add it in this video because I'm pretty excited about it. So I will start with that. It's this year. Oh, I left the price on because I wanted to remember. <laughs> so it's this here. Wow, the light is really reflecting on it. This is the Real Techniques Limited Edition Neon Lights brush set. It looks like this. So it says five tools for any party look. Yeah, and if you don't know, Real Techniques is a brand you can get at the drugstore. Um, and it's actually by two... I'm pretty sure they're sisters, yeah, and they're makeup artists. They have a YouTube channel called Pixie Woo, or Pixie Woo Sisters, I remember. I'll link it below, but they make makeup brushes, and these are supposedly really good, especially for the price. Um, so this set apparently was $29.99 regular, but I got it for $20.99, so I saved 10 bucks on this. And the reason I got it was actually mostly for, well, I always wanted to try the sponge. Let me take this out so you can see it better. I just wanted to try the sponge. It's their Miracle Complexion sponge. Usually it's orange, but in this set there's a pink one. I hope it's the same as like if you bought it separately, because I heard that one is pretty good. But I was really excited to about this brush here. This is the ultimate buffing brush. This is the handle. Um, so it's a foundation brush but it's kind of like domed on the sides and I don't have a foundation brush like this and I've always, well not always, but recently I've been finding I want to try putting my foundation on with a small brush like this and one that's like round because I feel like it's easier because when you're buffing normally you go in a circular motion and I think that would be better so it wouldn't leave streaks in your foundation because I do have another foundation brush my Tarte one uh, by the way, if you didn't see my last video, how to wash your brushes, you can see it in there. It's the one that was really hard to clean because it's very, very, very dense. And it's flat. So I was finding, like, when I was using it, because it's flat, you can't really do this motion. You just can brush it on. But then I would leave streaks in my foundation. So, yeah, I didn't really like that. So I've been wanting to try something like this. And I also really wanted, sorry, I also really was excited about this brush because this is a domed shadow brush and I love big fluffy brushes for applying like transition shades um, and blending. So yeah, I really was excited to have this one. The other brushes, just to show you quickly. Well, this one's kind of fun looking too. It's like a fan brush, but it's like pretty thick. It's a contour fan brush, so apparently it's good for cream uh, and powder contouring. And then the other one is like this brush here. This is a large smudge brush. I already have a few brushes like that, so yeah. But anyway, I'm excited about that set and excited that I got a deal on it. <laughs> So, let's move on to the Sephora things. First of all, I think because I spent $90, well, over $90, um, I got this bag full of samples. And it's actually like 
I don't know if you can see, it's like a nice bag. It's a fun material. And it came with like a bunch of deluxe samples. So, not to make this video a thousand years long. But I got the skincare one. I think there was like three options. But I got this one. I wanted to try this. Can you see? Yeah. This is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover with Cornflower Extract. So, yeah. This is like a mini, well, deluxe size, obviously. I know I like this, so I'm happy to have another one. It's the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. These are really good if you're traveling. Um, and I do really like this cleanser. I got this Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. With 15% advanced vitamin C to rapidly brighten the appearance of the skin and boost vital skin bounce in a flash. That sounds promising. I also got this, which sounds pretty fun. But I'm concerned because on the back it says not suitable for sensitive skin. So I might do a patch test with this just to see if I can actually use it. But this is the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. So it's a mask to brighten your skin. And I got this Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Radiance Serum. I actually have one of these already, but I really like Kodali serums. They're really good. And I got this lip product that I've been wanting to try. It's the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. I actually have tried this formula before and it's pretty good. It's not like overly drying. I think there are some other things in here, but... I think I already had them, so I gave them to my mom. But yeah, this was a pretty good deal. So now for the actual items that I purchased. I got this. This is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip Shine Lip Kit. I like buy all the Sephora lip kits. I just think they're such a good deal. Plus, lip products are like my favorite makeup things. So yeah. I normally do get all of them. So the first thing I took out is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Venus Lip Gloss. These are their new lip glosses, I think, like the shimmery ones that you can use as lip toppers or just on their own. Does it smell good? Oh yeah, it smells like cake batter. This one is like a pinky gold. Shimmer. I don't think I've ever tried any of their lip glosses, so that would be a first. I got another Sugar Advanced Therapy lip balm. This is just the clear one. I'm going to put this on now, actually, because my lips are super dry. Hmm, smells good. Like lemony I guess and then I got this whenever I do get these lip kits there's always like one or two things that really sell me on it and this was one of them so this is the incredible jelly shot lip quencher so it's one of those like jelly lip balms I've always wanted to try this and what I didn't know is there's a flower in here look how cute I just find that so fun. I mean, I don't really know what's going to happen when you get down to the flower, but it looks pretty. And it has like gold flecks in it. Yeah, I think it's super cute. And it smells like candy. I don't really know what it smells like, but it smells like gummies. This is in the shade, well, it's clear, but it's called X Revenge. Which is kind of funny. You can't see, but yeah. So I'm really excited to have this. Then I got the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is like a plumping lip gloss, but apparently it's like super extreme, as the name suggests. It smells good for a lip injection. 
Normally I hate the smell of lip plumping products. I do have another one of these, but it has a shade. It's like pink, but this one is clear. But it looks like there's some shimmer in there. So I'll try this. If I don't like it, I'm giving it to my mom because she loves these things. And the other product that I was really sold on was the Yves Saint Laurent Volupté Liquid Color Balm. This is obviously like a mini size, but I've been wanting to try these and this color looks really nice. So it's like a pink, well like a mauve pink I guess. Let's swatch it. Ooh, I think I'm really gonna like this. Looks like that. So it's not a liquid lipstick, it's a color bomb so it's kind of like a lip gloss but I think it's supposed to be like hydrating yeah I really like that so far and the last thing is another one of these this is the Tarte H2O gloss mini size this one is in the shade sundress I do like these I have another one that's more like a pink this one's kind of more peachy Let's see, yeah, peachy nude. It's this one here. I do like that color. And these aren't sticky. So I like them for that. So that was the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip Shine kit. Which I might use something from that later. Oh, but probably not because I also got this. Ooh. This was in my Christmas beauty wish list. It's the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Matte Trance Skin Show Trio. So I've been wanting this for like ever, but it was always sold out. And finally, it was in stock, so I picked it up since I had gift cards. This was only, well, when I say only, I mean it in relation to other Pat McGrath Labs products, which are like, astronomically priced but this was $32 32 yeah I think so but you get three lip colors and one of these is 52 so I'm confused like why would you not get this <laughs> I mean I guess if you already had some of these shades and you're like a Pat McGrath labs lover you'll just get a full size but this is such a good way to try her lipsticks because these are like the three most popular shades I think it comes with Omi 1995 and flesh 3 so this is like the nude set and there's another one that's more like pinks and reds I think but yeah I wanted to try this one uh, I'm gonna have to get some scissors because I can't open this and I don't want these things to go everywhere so Yes, I'll be back. Okay, so this is the first... See these things? They're gonna be everywhere. But that's her branding, I suppose. So it looks like the big size. It has the lips there. And this is the shade Omi, like I said. And these are matte lipsticks, so you can tell from just looking at it in the tube. It's a matte lipstick. So I'll swatch it. Ooh. That's Omi. Love it already. And this felt super creamy going on. I was kind of scared. Usually when a lipstick looks matte from like just from looking at it, it's gonna like drag when you swatch it or put it on your lips. But that one didn't at all. Then we have 1995, another nice nude shade, this one here, and the last one is Flesh 3, this one is the darkest there. I already know I like all of these colors, so yeah, this was a really good set for me to get, so I'll probably put one of those on soon. So I'll just pull the stuff out randomly, as usual. I got this. I want to do a whole video with this, so let me guys, let me guys know. Oh, okay. 
uh, let me know if you want to see that video. I'm going to do it anyway, but let me know if you're excited because I think it's going to be really funny because I've only put eyelashes on like once before in my entire life. So <laughs> this is called the Effortless Kit. So I want to test out if it's really effortless. So this is by Velour Lashes and you get like an um, eyelash applicator the eyelash glue and then these look really nice because these are called no trim lashes so normally um well from what i've seen on youtube because i don't have my own experience but normally when you get fake eyelashes you have to trim them because they're not going to fit your eye well depending obviously on the the um the style but normally they don't fit and you have to trim them but these are already trimmed apparently so there's no measuring, no trimming, no eyeliner, and no drama. That's what it says on the box. And the style is called Would I Lie. So these are silk lashes and the glue is white latex free lash adhesive. And these are, that's a mini size apparently. So yeah, and there's instructions on the back. So I'm going to try this, obviously not today, but in another video, I think I want to try these. I'm just not mentally prepared right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving this camera. But yeah, I thought this was really good, especially for someone that is like a lash newbie. And I actually did get another pair of Velour lashes. If you saw my last haul, I got them in that um, Sephora Favorites Beauty Vault. So I'm happy that I have these two things because I actually don't have anything else to apply lashes with. I don't even know if I have lash glue, so now I do. So the next thing I am also super excited to have because it's been out of stock forever on Sephora Canada and they don't carry this one in store. This is the Domini Cosmetics Latte Palette. So this is the sleeve. And I actually had no idea who Domini Cosmetics was, but I wanted this because um, Tara Babies and Stephanie Nicole love it and they really know that eyeshadow. So yeah. And the colors just looked like something up my alley. So today I actually watched um, Domini Cosmetics for the first time. <laughs> I watched her lunch video on this and it was so cute the way she talked about um, why I came to be and everything. So yeah, I'm even more excited now to use this. It's the back. It shows you the colors there. Say anything? No, it's just a sleeve really. This is what the palette looks like. It's really nice. It's heavy too and like it feels very sturdy. It feels like the um, the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, if you've ever felt that. It's like very heavy and it has the same mirror. So it has like that thick, really good quality mirror. There you can see everything. <laughs> My fake ring light, which is actually a makeup mirror. I've been exposed, but yeah. <laughs> There's the shades, I just love them. Also, I love coffee as I've mentioned before and this is the latte palette and all the colors are actually coffee things so there's hazelnut, caramel, vanilla cream, mocha, pumpkin spice, espresso, macchiato, creme brulee, cold brew and double shot. So this is like really up my alley as I said and um, I think it's a really good everyday palette. Basically this whole row is could be transition shades and I was watching in her video this um, vanilla, vanilla cream shade. You can actually use it like a banana powder so you can set your under eye concealer with it is what she said. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm really excited about this and these three 
shades are foiled shades and she said they have real crushed pearls in them so yeah that should be really fun to use so i'm gonna use that today this video is gonna be eight thousand years long um the next thing i got is this here this is from the new Too Faced Pretty Rich collection. This is the Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. I got the shade Raisin the Roof. How cute is this packaging? It reminds me of like Sailor Moon for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. It smells... It doesn't really smell. Or I've lost my sense of smell. I don't know. But... That's the shade here. It's one of those like flat doe foots. There's a swatch. Yeah, I really, this is the only color I was really interested in because all the other ones are like basic colors that you would have if you have any other shimmery lip glosses. Like there's a more pinky one, a more peach one, you know? So this one I thought was kind of unique. It's like a purple, purpley mauve shade, which is why it's called Raisin the Roof, like a raisin, you know? So yeah, I'm excited to use that. And the last thing I have here is this, another Sephora Favorites kit. This one is called Fresh Face, it's Hydrating Face Essentials. I just had to say that like three times, so yeah. There's only one full-size product in here, but I know I love these. This is the Tarte, well, I'll just show you the whole box. So that's what it looks like when you open it. Um, this is actually something I already had, because it's the Nor Nors. It's the NARS Orgasm Blush which I already owned, so I gave it to my mom and I just put mine here so I could show you guys <laughs> the full effect. But yeah, the only full size product is the Tarte Lip Balm. I think these are called Lip Rescues. Yeah, Quench Lip Rescue. This is clear. So the other one I have is called Nude and I really like it. I'm actually almost out of it, so I'm happy to have another one. I would prefer a more colored one, but that's okay. So, yeah, I really like these. They smell minty. They ha they tingle a bit, but not like a plumping gloss or anything. But yeah, I really like these, and they are actually moisturizing. The other, well, the main reason I got this was because I wanted to try this. This is the Smashbox Primerizer that everyone's like raving about and it's in a bunch of people's um, 2018, like best of 2018 videos. So it's a moisturizer and a primer in one, which is something I need desperately. I'm actually going to put this on now because I don't have anything on my face. It's a lot more liquidy than I thought it'd be, but that's what it looks like. That was two pumps. Oh, it's very lightweight. It's almost like a gel, which is weird. I was expecting a cream texture. Doesn't smell too strongly. The other thing I really wanted was the Bobbi Brown face base. This is a small one, obviously, but it's there's a lot of product in here. This is like really expensive. Um, and I always wanted to try it, so now I can. This is another product that's good for dry skin, from what I heard. So it's, the full name is Vitamin Enriched Face Base, so it's a primer. Um, I think some people use it as moisturizer too, so yeah, I'm excited about that. And there's one of these Becca Hydra Mist powders, which is also something I've been wanting to try because apparently it's like a powder. Yeah, there's like a net, if you can see that. Apparently this turns to like, yeah. It turns like almost, not like a cream, but 
it just yeah I don't know how to describe it but it basically kind of just melts into your skin I've heard mixed reviews on this but I'm still excited to try it because as someone with dry skin I don't like to use like really heavy powders who does really but sometimes I do like powder just if I feel like I use like a really tacky foundation I'd want to set it with something so that might be good to try then yeah like I said the orgasm blush everyone's seen this before it's like a pink blush with gold shimmer I guess there's a swatch if you can tell and there's a mini melt highlighter stick. This is in the shade Lit. I've heard this is really good. It does look a bit dark. Let's see. It's not dark when you swatch it though. It's here. Can't even really tell. Oh, and I also got samples. I got these um, face wipes, makeup remover. I already know I like these, the coconut ones, but I also got a charcoal exfoliating wipe which would be fun to try. And I finally got a sample of the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which everyone loves. So I'm excited to try that because this was probably gonna be the next concealer that I buy for spot concealing. So I'm hoping at least one of these colors is good for me. I'm pretty sure this one will be. So yeah, I'll try that. And that's all. I got with my gift cards at Sephora. So I'm going to do my base makeup off camera because I didn't get anything new and I will be back to show you some of the products. Okay I'm back. So I just used, well I tried this brush. Um, it's really soft and it worked but the only thing is because I have dry skin, I don't know how I feel about using a brush. I feel like it just, it kind of moved all my dead skin around and the makeup went under it and now it looks extra flaky. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to try it again and see. But I used the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation Luminous Makeup, it's called. I don't love this. It creases in my fine lines so yeah it's okay it looks really nice in pictures actually and then I put my Aveda powder I only put it under my eyes because I didn't want to set the creasing which is happening up here so yeah that's all I did so we're gonna go in with the eyeshadow palette so I'm going to go in with the shade Vanilla Cream on my brush here and I'm just going to use that all over the eyelid and brow bone. Oh, that's very pigmented. Yeah, I see what she meant about it being like a banana powder because it's a pretty yellow tone on me, but it does cancel out any redness. Yeah, and there's not a lot of kickback in the pan. If you can see, there was, yeah, barely anything. She did say she made these shadows to be more buildable. So they're not like Anastasia shadows, which are like super pigmented. And when you like just slightly touch your brush in, it's like poof, powder everywhere. So I do like that because I'm more light-handed and I do prefer to like go in slowly with the shadow and build it up. So next, there's so many options for a transition. Like I said, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to go in with caramel, the shade here, on my fluffy brush. Where did it go? This one here. Mm -hmm. 
so I just put that shadow in the crease above and I brought it out a bit here. It's what I normally do with my transition shade. I do like that color. Next, I think I just drawn to this pumpkin spice shade. So I'm gonna use that. This one here, it's like a orangey brown. I'm gonna use this brush here, slightly less fluffy. And I'm gonna focus that more in the crease. <laughs> This one has more kickback than the others, or maybe my brushes differ. I'm kind of bringing this shade out a bit also. Yeah, these are very blendable from what I've seen so far. Now I want to go in on the lid. These are also nice. I'm going to use Macchiato, the lighter of the foil shades and see if I want to build it up. I'm gonna use my Aveda number no. two brush. It's like a dense packing brush, I guess. Very creamy from what I can tell. I'm gonna put that like from the inner corner to the middle, I suppose. <laughs> If you used MAC Fix Plus or some other kind of mixing medium, I think these would be like even crazier. But I just wanted to see what it looked like on its own. But normally with this kind of shade, I do use Fix Plus. So I think I'm going to try that. It is a nice color though. Let's just try with some Fix Plus. I'm going on the center. Oh yeah. That just takes it up a notch. Can you see how reflective it is? That's really nice. I think I just want to leave it like that for the shimmer, but I will go in the outer corner just to deepen it up. I'm going to use... I'm going to keep it more like a warm look, so I'm going to use hazelnut. This here, it's like a chocolatey, more like a red tone brown. I'm going to use this brush here. This is the Luxie 237. Going in very light and starting in the crease and just making like a V. Shape. So I'm just going to wipe away the powder under my eyes and see what I want to do for the lower lash line. I didn't have any fallout, by the way, if that's something you care about. That was like really easy to blend. Can't really see, can you? But yeah, I really like that so far. So I think for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the same color, so caramel first. So I'm going to use my Luxie 141 mini round brush to go in with caramel. And I'm just bringing it all across the lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with pumpkin spice, this shade here. Focusing more from the middle to the outer corner and I'm just connecting it to the top. Yeah, I think that's All I want to do This is a very pumpkin spice look <laughs> which I don't mind. I love pumpkin spice and I will Take it all year round. I don't even care. Yes, very nice. I really like this already I do want to use these two shadows at some point too. So maybe I'll do another um, video just on this palette in case you're interested. Keep out for that. I think I want to use my Tarte um, nude liner for the 
lower lash, inner, lower rim. I don't know, I always get confused about what that's called, but I think you know what I mean. I just feel like I want some brightness. I want to try this, not that I want to put powder on really, but I really just am curious about this Becca Hydramist powder. So I'm gonna just buff some along my um, hairline and where I put bronzer. And actually because I know the Flower Beauty foundation, it tends to lift when I blend other products on top of it. So I wanna see if that does anything to help. I'm gonna use my Aesthetica P12 brush. Ooh, it's going everywhere. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I think this feels like cooling on the skin. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm getting. Feels nice. I do like this packaging. So when it's there's like a mesh on top, if you can see, because it's less messy and you can just like press your brush down and it gets the product on it. I think I like this. That or it's just not even coming off. <laughs> but it's not lifting my foundation. Yeah, it definitely has a cooling effect because I just put like a lot on at once and I felt it right away. I don't know guys, I think I like this a lot because I can't even really see that I put powder on but it looks smoother. And it's not like doing anything crazy to my base. Yeah, that's that might be kind of good. So I'll have to test that out more to see. But I think I like it so far. And for, well I did get the NARS blush. But that's not going to work with this look, I feel. I think I want more like a mauve blush so I'm just gonna use one that I already have I'm gonna use my NARS Narcissist palette yeah I want to go in with this shade here that is called uh, I think it's called Kingpin that's nice I haven't really used this much either I thought I was going to get so much use out of it, but I think because of the size and the way I store it, it's just like out of reach. So I want to make myself use it more because it's like hella pricey. I did buy it on a VIP sale, so I got some money off, but still, I do like that shade a lot. That is nice. So I did get that milk highlighter, but... I already put powder products on, so I'm not going to use it because I don't think it's going to mesh well. Um, that's the kind of thing I would prefer to put on if I'm doing like a cream makeup look, or at least if I had done it before powder, but I didn't think about it, so yeah. I think I just want to use the highlighter in this palette. It is, I think it's called Unlimited. It's this like peachy gold highlighter. I'm going to use my Tarte, uh, whatever this brush is for. I guess it's for highlighting. <laughs> That's nice. It is more subtle um, than some of my other highlighters, but that's okay. That is a nice shade though. Yeah. For eyebrows, I'm just using my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel, so I'll do that off camera. You've seen it in every video and it's nothing um, that requires much explanation. So so I also put mascara on. Um, I just used my Revlon Mega Multiplier. I'm just trying to use it up because it's getting old. It's starting to flake a bit, but I thought it would be okay for this look because it is a brown mascara and it's more like a warm tone look. I think it looks nice. So the only thing left to do is lips and then setting spray, but first lips. And as you saw, I did get a lot of lip products, 
but I think I just have to try one of these because I'm just so excited about it. I'm gonna go with this shade. This is... Oh, oh by the way, <laughs> you only get this much product if you were wondering. That's maybe why it's so less expensive than her other products. But who, who even goes through lipstick really? I mean, it takes forever. These are super pigmented. Not streaky at all. I probably should have used the lip liner, but it's too late. So there is the shade Omi. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be, but I like it. Should I zoom in? My camera might get all blurry. So there's the lipstick. It feels really nice on the lips. Very lightweight. Um, yeah, and like I said, it was super easy to apply. It's very pigmented, so you don't have to keep going like back and forth. Yeah, I like the shade. And here's my eyeshadow closer look. So let's see the finished look. It's not this. <laughs> so here is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. I really like the eyeshadow. It looks even better in person, but yeah, you know, bad lighting as I say in every video. Um, but yeah, and I really liked lip color. I think I really liked everything I tried. Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I don't know about this yet because, oh, I did put another pump on before I put my foundation because I just felt like it sunk right into my skin. So I'll have to keep testing this to see if it is actually moisturizing for super dry skin like mine. Um, but so far I liked it. I think I really like this Becca Hydra Mist powder too. Because my face doesn't look powdery at all. In fact, it looks even smoother in the places that I did put this powder. So, yeah. That's looking good so far. I love the eyeshadow palette. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even like... I went in really light and the colors, the payoff is like really good and it looks like the colors in the pan which i like the shimmer worked best with mac fix plus but it did go on dry as well i just prefer like if i'm gonna use a foiled shadow and i want it to pop i always use fix plus no matter what the brand is um what else did i try well, I didn't actually end up trying that many of the haul products, but I will test them out some more and you'll see them in future videos. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this look and with my purchases. So let me know if there's anything you guys want me to test out more, if you want any review on something in particular. I think I'm going to do like a whole like Instagram like lip swatch with these because I know a lot of people are interested in Pat McGrath and I think it's fun that there's a more affordable option because like I said, her products are astronomically priced. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy that I own these now and I can test them out some more. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like this look. Yeah, so give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!